A spaceship bankrolled by British tycoon Sir Richard Branson has made its first engine-powered flight in a test that moves Virgin Galactic toward its goal of flying into space later this year. While the craft, called Spaceship 2, did not break out of the atmosphere during the test flight, it marked a significant milestone, as until now Spaceship 2 had only performed unpowered glide flights. During the early morning flight, Spaceship 2, strapped to the belly of a twin fuselage jet, took off from an airport runway in the Mojave Desert north of Los Angeles. The mothership climbed to about 14.3 kilometers, then released the spacecraft, which ignited its engine for 16 seconds to reach a height of some 16.8 kilometers above the Earth before gliding to a safe landing. Branson, who was all smiles and owns the space line with Abar Investments PJC of Abu Dhabi, said the spacecraft reached Mach 1.2 and broke the sound barrier. The uh, first uh, commercial um, uh, space line to uh, break, break the sound barrier on its very first test flight uh, couldn't have gone more smoothly. Um, the, uh, we just talked to the pilots, they actually were thinking of just saying, yeah, you know, screw everybody, we're going into space, <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, but anyway, they didn't. Spaceship Two is the commercial version of Spaceship One, which in 2004 became the first private manned rocket to reach space. And since that historic flight, more than 500 aspiring space tourists have paid 200,000 US dollars, patiently waiting for a chance to float in weightlessness and view the Earth's curvature from 100 kilometers up. Several more powered flights are planned for later this summer, culminating with a dash into space targeted toward the end of the year. However, no date has been set for the first commercial flight. Virgin Galactic executives have said it will come after testing is complete and it secures approval from the U.S. government. And Branson has previously stated the maiden passenger flight will carry his family.